Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to Grooming by Rudy. Uh, we had a chance to show you something here. This is our beautiful little Bijan Luna. She's a real good customer of ours. Um, she unfortunately had some surgery. Uh, she had a torn ACL on her rear leg here. So she hasn't been able to come to us for a while uh, simply because uh, she had to uh, recover from the surgery. And it's a, it's a really tough surgery for these guys. It's tough on the dogs. It's tough on the owners. You have to be real careful that you know they don't re-injure themselves. And uh, Luna actually had two surgeries because uh, the first one uh, kind of didn't work uh, uh, like they thought. But anyway, uh, she finally got to us. This is she's usually here once a month, so she's never in this kind of condition. But again, due to the surgery, she's a little bit matted just because we were unable to get her groomed. Um, so the purpose of this video is we're, we're gonna try to show you uh, how to approach the this uh, grooming it's very different because she really can't put a whole lot of weight on this left rear leg here um, so we're going to uh, approach the grooming very very carefully um, where what we, we are going to do though is we're going to do a a buzz down because she is matted and even if she wasn't matted we would probably opt to do a much shorter cut anyway uh, only so that we're not brushing and tugging on her too much um, again she you know she hasn't been here for a while she's been she went through a lot so we really have to um, do what's best for Luna here and we're gonna do, take this grooming real real slow and give her lots of breaks Right, guys so what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm gonna do as much as I can with her laying down so I don't want her to have to stand um, any longer than she has to just gonna switch blades have a 10 blade here so I'm gonna try to do this sanitary clip while she's in this position Trying to get as much as possible while she's laying down. So it's very difficult for her to stand. Okay. It's okay, Mama. She's being such a good girl right now. Half the battle with um, these surgeries is keeping the dog still when they get home, when they're recovering. It's very, very tough on the owners because, again, they, they, they have to be careful to not uh, have the dog jump around. And dogs tend to still be dogs even after the surgeries. They will. They will still want to jump and and play or what have you. Um, they'll still think that they might be able to jump off of a couch, and you have to really keep them very very calm after a surgery. So it's quite a challenge for the owners to have to uh, deal with that. So we're going to stand her up in a little bit, and we'll we'll show you uh, her leg 
but right now I just want to do as much as I can without having her stand. A very slow process because she is very matted. Um, just because she hasn't been here. Again, guys, no fault to owner. She just could not go through any kind of grooming or anything like that, being that she just had her surgery. So we just deal with things as they come. And these things happen. You can see her little little leg here. And when you're doing this, you um, kind of want to be careful with the opposite leg because she might be overusing her left rear leg. Uh, just trying to overcompensate for uh, the surgery on her uh, on her right leg. So you want to be real, real careful because this leg may be weak too. Um, but the fact that she's laying down is a huge help right now. Um, and she's very, very smart, this dog. She's a, a real person dog. She's very excitable, so I'm trying to keep her calm. Um, if you, you know, if you kind of tell her what a good girl she is and stuff like that, she tends to get very overly excited and happy. And uh, we kind of want to just keep her calm for the time being. So we're going to praise her later. You could see how long it takes just to do this little bit because like I said we're trying to be very very careful here uh, don't want to injure her any further or anything like that so just working very slowly with her we got this flap of skin here so that, that's why I'm I keep trying to do this part very very slowly so I don't want to nick her or anything it's the last thing she needs I'm trying not to press too hard with the clippers either um, kind of just finessing these mats um, out instead of uh, pressing and trying to do it quickly or get the job done. We, we, um, 
We're just kind of doing her exclusively today uh, because of uh, what her, her situation. And Luna's really helping it along here just by laying down and remaining calm. So that's, uh, that's her one leg there. And um, you know, we're just giving her a buzz down. Again, there's no aggressive brushing or anything like that. Uh, we want to avoid trying to brush this out because it would just prolong the grooming. So we're just keeping her uh, nice and calm and relaxed. And uh, she's laying down for us. This way uh, she's not putting any stress on her leg. Okay, guys, so here we are. I'm going to try to grab the inside of the leg that had surgery and I want to be real real careful on that one uh, so but any little bit of hair I can grab I'm gonna try to do um, she's probably real sensitive on it that's why she's moving around a lot but um, I don't want to put any pressure on it whatsoever actually good enough I don't want to I don't want to do too much and then when we stand her up we'll get the other side of that um, so but what what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to continue doing uh, this upper part here and and buzz down again what we can uh, while she's laying down and then we'll get to the uh, the harder part later but again we're just trying to keep her calm and laying down and and uh, you know comfortable with this, so good girl, Luna. Good girl. Good girl. Luna's a big kisser too. All she wants to do is lick you to death. You know, it's this dog is one of the sweetest dogs I've ever groomed. kind of just sat up in this position. Um, you'd be surprised how these dogs really anticipate what, you're, what you want them to do. When you groom a dog for a long time, they really get to know you, you get to know them, like we always talk about. Um, and they will anticipate some dogs, not all, but Luna here certainly is anticipating what I need done. Good girl, Luna. Want to stand up, sit down for a little bit? Good girl, stay. You're okay. Stay, Luna. 
Such a good girl. Stay mommy. What you smelling? So what we're gonna have her do here is we're gonna have her stand up and we're gonna show you her right rear leg. You can see her scar there. And uh, we're going to, uh, she got some hair in your mouth, mama, here, gotcha. Um, we're gonna take advantage of her standing. And we'll just kind of get in here for the time being. We're not really going for looks here, guys. We're kind of just want to get all this hair off of her. And uh, what we'll do too is we have a, a rolled up towel. And what I like to do with this is if we wedge it underneath her like that, it will just kind of add some support and help her stand a little bit better. And this way I can kind of work this upper part here without her putting all of her weight down on it. And we're gonna limit that too. We're gonna give her lots of breaks. You can see that she's kind of resting comfortably on it. And this isn't anything that we haven't seen before. Um, been doing this a real long time, so I, I've seen this. It's it's actually quite more difficult when we're dealing with even a larger dog um, you know Luna's, Luna's a small Bichon so it's a little bit easier just to kind of do because I'm not supporting a, a big heavy dog so okay, I'm just going to change blades again here the reason why I keep changing blades too is that I, I don't I want to keep my hands on her as much as possible uh, so I'm actually uh, I don't want to reach for my my cool lube too often so I have a series of blades that I just keep switching back and forth so that they're not getting hot and what this with this buzz down is going to do is it's going to allow her to recover a little better because she won't have to worry about getting groomed as as quick uh, it, the grooming will last longer and um, it will uh, allow her to heal better so she doesn't have to go through this again real soon just kind of extending the, the grooming time okay mama all right so this is what we're gonna do we're actually gonna take this out for now see how she does she's putting her weight down on it so she's definitely you know recovering and um, what we're gonna do is I'm going we have to be careful how we uh, move her around too we don't want to like have her sides uh, you know slide or uh, hurt herself so I'm kind of like lifting her and turning her so that there's no pressure on that leg so it's all in the handling okay guys so she's sitting down so I figure let's, we'll take advantage of some of the face here the face grooming and uh, get this stuff out and we'll get back to the body later. So, come on, Mama. Okay, baby. Oh, good girl. Good girl, Mama. Clear out that face. What a good girl. This is 
a really tough spot right here. Guys, the armpit, the matted armpit is always a very difficult spot to get. Um, you want to be real careful. You can nick them real easy in this area. So again, we're just going real, real slow. We're trying to uh, finesse those mats out. You don't want to dig too hard or press too hard. Um, you can only hold them like that for so long. switch will work up here There's nothing easy about a cut down, guys, or a shave down. Uh, a lot of, a lot of people will think it's uh, it's easy, but it's really not. It's just as difficult as any other grooming, if not more, because you have to be more careful not to cut the dog. Um, but you know, sometimes you have a customer come in and go, "Well, just you know, it's just a shave down," but you could see that you know a matted shave down. It takes time, it takes a lot of time, and you have to really um, take your time doing it. You know? But she's real comfortable, you can see she's just sitting down, um, she's not standing on that leg, so that's the key here. We just want to keep her real, real comfortable and calm. Half the battle is getting a uh, digging a spot where you can actually get the clipper into the skin area. So that's why I kind of keep going over one little area until I can get clear of it and then you'll see the mat start to loosen and come off. You know, you just get as much as you can. Yeah, it just creates another little area that you can start off from again if that makes sense groomers know what I'm talking talking about there you see so let's see here what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower this a little just kind of, it's got a lot of, see all this matting behind the head there. I'm going to try to do something with her head here to give her some personality. Um, it's very difficult to really make them look uh, good when you're doing a buzz down like this. But again, we're not going for looks here. We're just kind of trying to get all this off of her and make her feel comfortable. Come here, sweetheart. So now that I took the noose off, I have to be extra, extra careful. Uh, we don't want her falling or anything like that. So, but she's being real good, so I, it's not gonna happen. And even if it did, I would, I would grab her. I wouldn't let her fall.
pulling her ear flap forward on this so we're not catching her skin. Just kind of grabbing a little bit of the neck area right there. Good girl, you know. Try to do the same thing on the other side here. Again, just trying to not manipulate her too much or have her move too much. great job with helping this grooming along, you know. You, you can just see how she just anticipates every, look at the way she's holding her head up. Um, she just knows because she's used to me grooming her. Um, so you can just see how she's literally holding her head up for me. Um, and anytime I maneuver her, or position her, She's kind of just turning in that direction. Um, these dogs are smart. And once you get them used to the grooming, I mean, they just, they tend to just really accept it and enjoy it in a, in a way, I guess. They, they like when it's over, but they tolerate it, you know. But it's all a lot of training as well, you know. Uh, we worked with Luna, just like every other dog that we do. We did her as a puppy, and um, she uh, was always really good. And you know, she had her little quirks. She was overly excited, and she would always want to kind of get off the table. But it just goes without saying. It's that's just puppies, you know. going to do another little blade change and a spray down but we're making a lot of progress guys you could see how much we already got off of her um, and I'm always keeping a hand on her guys if you notice that just always <laughs> go curl Luna you give me a kiss always near her um, using my whole body um, just right next to her. You you never ever leave a dog unattended. Um, you want to keep them close and your hands on them all the time. Okay, so this is the other challenge here with this leg. Okay, we've got a lot of loose skin here, so we have to be careful. Half of it is just kind of clearing out hair and seeing where you are. You know, it's hard to see where you are with all that hair. You, you can see where they shaved her here for the IV. Good girl, Mama. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, baby. Good girl. I'm going to get underneath her. Sweetie, okay. Pesky little mat 
right here on the skin. So I'm going to try to get that without nicking her at all. Stay, Mama. Stay. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. We got you. Good girl. Once you get that elbow, um, that armpit area, you know, the rest is pretty easy because you're just coming down the foot like that and it's less, less vulnerable. Good girl, Luna. Oh, what a sweetie. Oh, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. I love you, Luna. I love you. You're such a good girl. I love you. Again, guys, just one of the sweetest dogs I've ever known. I, I feel so bad for her that she even had to go through all that stuff. Um, but she's a young dog, so she's going to recover real well. And hopefully, you know, she doesn't hurt herself again or anything like that. So, again, we'll just take, take it from where we are, you know. These things happen, and... and just deal with them and Luna's very very lucky that she has such good owners there's nothing that they wouldn't do for this dog um, you know and they're they're old clients of mine I did I did their other dog before Luna even came into their life uh, they had another dog named Stormy who was also just another sweetheart of a dog it's okay, Luna. Let me see what we're doing here. All right, so we made a lot of sense of the body there. Um, the only other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to shave her butt. Uh, we didn't get to that. So I'm going to uh, shave her butt real quick and just kind of make her stand again. And uh, we'll place our towel underneath her. try to leave some tail on her so that she doesn't have her little rat tail. The other thing we're going to do while I have her in this position is uh, I'm going to just shave her pads real quick. Now this is the foot that she had the surgery on so I want to be real real careful. I don't want to hold it too long or anything like that. Just let her place and I don't I definitely don't want to lift it and uh, bend that knee too hard or anything. So again, we're just kind of working around it. That towel is really helping underneath her, supporting her. So this is going to be the challenging pad because I can't really lift it too long. So I'm just going to do a quick pad clip on that. There we go. I'm just doing a quick pad job here. We'll get the rest out later. Okay, kind of supporting her with my left arm. It's okay, Mama. Good girl. Okay. Okay, guys, now we're just going to give her a little brushing and try to shape up this head a little bit. Uh, Save what we could. Um, we clipped through these ears a little bit. Get 
transfer that. I'm just gonna grab my scissors and uh, just kind of give her some personality. It's okay, Mama. Good girl. Good girl, Mama. We're just going to finish doing this and uh, we're going to brush out her tail and we're going to get her in the tub and give her a nice long break and then we'll finish her up. Good girl, Luna. So good for the prep, Mama. Look at you. Oh, you're such a good girl. Good girl. So we're just brushing out her tail. We're having her sit down so she doesn't have to feel any pulling or tugging. And I'm supporting her, her tail with my left hand here. Um, and when we're done this, we're just going to get her in the tub and we'll finish her up. Okay, guys. So we, uh, we bathed Luna and we gave her a quick blow dry. And uh, we're just going over what we did earlier. Um, she's uh, doing really, really good. Uh, you could see her little scar here. We uh, again we placed the towel underneath her, rolled up towel to add some support so she's not uh, putting all her weight on that leg. Um, so we're just going to go over her and uh, finish her up, and uh, you'll see what she looks like in a little bit. Good girl, Luna. Good girl. We don't want to lift that leg too high or anything. And the towel's providing some support for her. Just gonna pull that towel out briefly just to kind of get underneath her here. I'm supporting her with my hand and I'm just gonna try to grab that underbelly a little bit better. Again, guys, we're not going for looks right here. We just really wanna do the best we can. <clears throat> We're just gonna probably just have her sit down again. Go on, mama. Here you go. Again, whenever I'm maneuvering her, I'm just kind of lifting her a little bit and and turning her. Go on, mama. Sit down. Oh, good girl. There you go, Luna. There you go, mama. What a sweetie. Now that she's sitting, we could just do this front area again. Good girl, mama. Oh, what a sweetheart. You're going to feel better, Luna. Oh, what a good girl. Again, we're taking the noose off. So we're going to be extra cautious with her staying on the table. Let's get her little neck area again. Oh, 
Oh, what a baby. What a baby. It's a lot for them. Even here, you can just grab some of that back leg with her sitting down. We got enough off of the belly earlier, so I'm not even gonna uh, try to do any more on the belly because uh, she can't really stand, so I can't lift her up to do that real good sanitary clip underneath. But we got it earlier with, uh, with her laying down, so. And as she heals and gets stronger, we'll be able to do her belly area better. Okay, so I'm just gonna move her a little forward here. Good girl, Luna. Good girl. I'm gonna uh, do a little snap-on comb around her head just to save some scissoring time. Get a little shaping up. We mentioned this in our other videos where You'd save yourself some time, the table time, by just doing a little bit of snap-on comb work before you start to scissor. So already you can see the head taking some shape, and we haven't really started scissoring yet. And in this, in this case, in Luna's case, we're trying to keep this grooming as short as possible, but at the same time, we have to work slower. So, um, it's, it's a catch-22. I don't want her on the table too, too long. Uh, but at the same time, it takes a little extra time to do it. So. You can see how her head is taking shape there. It's okay, Mama. Let me just get that by your face a little bit. Good girly. Just try to blend this back area into the backs of her ears. There's going to be some spots because she had some pretty matted areas where I had to go real short on the back of her head, but it's okay. Kind of giving her a quick tail scissor. I, again, she's standing for this. I have the uh, towel underneath her, but again, I want to keep this short and sweet for her so she's not standing too, too long, guys. In, in this video, we're just showing you the different approach with Luna, who just had her surgery, ACL. just pretty much gonna call it on her tail guys because I don't want her standing any longer than that good girl Luna go on sit back down mama because we could do all of this while she's sitting now there's no pressure on her like back leg again okay mama it's okay come here come this way Luna good girly oh what a baby scissoring up her feet a little it's okay, Mama. Good girl. Oh, 
get to her head here. Start shaping up her head a little. See, we got all that dark staining under her eye out. She's gonna feel a lot better. So, let's give her a little scissor trim now. give her a little personality make her look cute even though it's a shave down still want to make her look cute I like to kind of square off the bottom first and then round it up on the sides here like that this here you got to be a little careful with I Home this and just stay mom and just kind of get in the corners of the eyes and just like that what a sweetie had to buzz the back of this ear a lot so um, there's a little bit of bare spot there but it, it's okay like I said I didn't want to yank on her or anything like that Camouflage it and blend it in a little bit. Same thing on this ear. We just had to shave some of that matting out there. giving her a shorter face than normal only because her body is so short that we want to try to at least match up the head with her body what we did on her we, we did an eight and a half on her pretty much eight and a half blade cut down um, to leaves the coat very very short um, See how you're looking. Oh, Luna. You're looking, you're looking good again, Mama. You're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty, Luna. Let me see you.
still a little few little tangles and I'm working out with the comb but not too bad okay Okay, guys, once again, give it up for Luna. She did so good with all of that. Uh, you know, again, we just wanted to feature in this video how to approach a full grooming with a dog that just had surgery. Uh, Luna was such a good sport throughout all of that. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. She really wants to get off this table. Um, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and uh, check out our radio show. It's called Groomer Humor. We're gonna leave that link down below. Once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Grooming by Rudy. Give it up for Luna. What did it be? Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. Oh, what a good girl.